Hey guys, Wonder North here, and this is episode 14 of the Let's Play series I'm doing for the game Airport CEO. Last episode, we started working on our baggage uh, claim area, which is over here, and also our all the conveyor belt systems to get uh, passengers' luggages from here. Under it'll go underground and into the baggage area, and from there. Workers will move the luggage onto these planes. And same thing when the passengers arrive to our airport. They're going to park the planes. The workers will pick up the luggage, bring it here, and then it'll get sent to the baggage claim area. So, what do we got to do now? We have it built. And have it built. Now next is to connect the stands to the baggage bay. And connect, so we gotta connect all of them. <clears throat> so, baggage claim area, connect it, screw that one, and okay, so now that's all connected to the baggage. Uh, yeah, the baggage claim areas. So now we have to connect the baggage bays to the stands. Connect baggage bay. That. Connect baggage bay. Oops. Now connect. There we go. All the small stands, I'll connect it to the. Okay. Connect this one. Yeah, all the small stands I'm going to do on the bottom. One and then these medium stands will be on this one. That's just because this is further, or sorry, closer to the medium stands compared to the bottom one. While well, the bottom one should be able to handle all of these flights because there's only like a couple people, maybe max 10 or 12 people on these flights. So this one alone should handle them. This flight left, so I can connect it. I just gotta wait for this flight to leave, and then I will connect it up. Maybe I'll even uh, fast forward it a bit. Waiting for him to leave. There he goes. I wonder if I should actually throw this one in this. Yeah, you know what I will. That's gonna have four flights. Yeah, that, that should work. All right, so they're all connected up. Uh, operate the basic conveyor belt system. Purchase two service trucks. So activate the baggage bay. So let's get those trucks. Procurement. Where are they? Uh, where is it? Trailer. Service truck. Okay. I think this is one we will get. Yeah, the large ones. Let's do four of them, maybe. Ah. Five. Order five of them. And speed that up. Should be in half an hour. Actually, see how our flights are doing. We're good for Thursday, good for Friday. We're all the way to Saturday. I'll fill it up. Medium flight. Them reoccurring small flights. Ooh, a five day or nice. Plop that there. A two day reoccurring flight or medium. Let's throw some of these regular ones down. Uh, 
And what else? Who else is? Skyfly, two day reoccurring. Oh, six day, nice, medium. Recurring. A lot of large flights there. What's oh, Skylink? Oh, you have a lot of large flights too. Or medium, I should say. Apparently, large flights are coming later on in this game. It still is in beta. Uh, two more slots left to fill up. How about Stripe? Six day reoccurring flight. Ah, come here. Grab the single one. Oh well. Um, there it is. Okay, that's good for now. So, did those new vehicles come? Oh, here they are. So they're making their way there. What is next? Uh, activate the baggage bay, enable the handling service. Open baggage bay, connect the baggage claim right now. I gotta do that first. Okay. And open. Open. I will. Oh, I gotta activate the flights. Operations. Enable. And then can't get to their job. Could be in a secure zone, yes. I wonder if I can make a door here. Terminal. Yeah, this should work to let them. Glad well, they didn't have like an employees only door. Kind of want people walking around there, but this will have to do for now. Now let's see if this Are the package is going. That worked. So my conveyor belt's 100% sure. Oh, there we go. Nice, it worked. Awesome, we have a... <laughs> we have a baggage service now going on. Maybe it slows down. Oh, there they go. And where is our baggage vehicles there? I wonder if I need more workers. Probably. Uh, one more ramp agents just to make sure they can all handle all the bags, and I will hire. I need to hire like eight more ramp agents. One, two, three, four, five, six. There they go, unloading some luggage. This seems to be working out pretty well. Okay, let's watch this, guys. So they're picking up luggage. There he goes. Nice. They plop those on that plane. That is awesome. So this guy just landed. All the people are getting out. Let's see if a vehicle comes. Pick up all the luggage. Here it comes. I believe this is it. Driving around. 
There they go, grabbing the luggage off the plane. Nice. All right, that works well. Awesome. So we now have, uh, yeah, baggage handling service. That's so cool. I do have to, I want to hire two more ramp staff, so since we are using a bunch in our new baggage uh, area. Not many good applicants, but we're kind of desperate here. Sure. Good enough. All right, what's next up? What's our list of things to do? We need to process five commercial flights. And then it looks like next we'll have to do a, build a secure conveyor belt si system. I could maybe... I have to do it in this area. I'm not really using this area. Looks like a good spot. A lot of people are asking for washrooms in this area. Maybe I will do that. Let's go ahead and build a washroom. All right. Maybe put a washroom here. I was going to put it in this area, but in the future I might actually end up using this space. What was I put it here? No, you know what? I'll... Ah. Yeah, uh, you know what? I actually want it here. It seems kind of weird to have a washroom right in the front. On the side would be better where you wait to get onto your flight. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't know, I could be wrong. Seems like a better place for me to put it. Alright, let's do this. Washroom. Uh, this should be good. Let's bunch of those sinks. Uh, I should put the walls up, see exactly where I want. Let's go like this. Like that. A door. There, one there. Bathroom. Sinks. One, two, three, four. Some hand dryers. One, two, three. I'm going to throw some urinals on the side here. Two. And yeah, that's good. That'll make people happy having that washroom right when you walk in. Speed it up a bit. There they go, building the washroom. Nice, it's done. People are using it. Everyone's happy. All right. So I'll get rid of those complaints. Did we service enough airplanes yet? There we go. The next on the list, build a generic conveyor belt scanner, build a conveyor belt cargo destroyer, scan 50 bags. Build a generic conveyor belt scanner. Let's see here. There's the scanner, there's the destroyer. Alright. Uh, so I'm gonna... Let's put it up here. 
I'm gonna expand this area. Like that. Oh, I need more room. Put it all the way up there. And then put a door so people can get through. A double door. There. Ah, oh, that's fine. And I'm gonna delete this wall. Speed it up a bit. Why does everyone hang on the bathroom like that? Yeah, they're kind of creepy. Okay, so that's going to be the area we're going to have a or check all the bags. We want a cargo scanner. They'll come like this, and then a destroyer. So now, I'll pause it because I have a quick moment. There seems to be no one putting their bags on there. Okay, so I want... Uh, underground. It's gonna go... At the high quality, oh no, underground. But it'll go up here, and then like that. Then we're gonna high quality overground going in there. And where's that? Flipper one. Tilt. Like that. And then overground. Um. I believe that's where I put the the entrance for the cargo destroyer. Oh man, I gotta really delete this just so there's no issues. I'll see if I did that right. Oh, I could have kept that. Darn it. Could have kept the overground conveyor here, but it's okay. It's fine. Let them build all that. Here they all come. Oh no! Ah! Uh, I didn't see that. So the bad goes down. I have the car. Oh, I have the cargo destroyer in the wrong place. Darn it! Okay, delete. Delete. I have to redo this all. Ah! Uh, delete it all. This is gonna be a headache. It's, it appears. Come on, delete it, delete it. Almost there. Oh man, it's taking them a long time. 
There, there. Try it again. The baggage scanner. We'll almost have to get it to come up here. Yeah. So that'll go there. And it comes out the bottom, the ones that need to be destroyed. So I'll put it right here. And then, apparently I, that's backwards. Oh, man. Okay. All of that, delete it. Oh, it's fixed now. Okay, cancel, cancel the delete. Uh, actually keep that, eat all that, and I will put this going north. It'll come to here. Then, around, through here, the bad ones will go down to the cargo destroyer. And the good ones will make it all the way around. Insufficient funds! Uh, that's a crazy expensive project. Need to be able to finish it. Be there. Now that should be good. Really hoping. That is pissing off my, <laughs> my flights. There, that's done. Just finish it off quick. People are freaking angry. Uh, two more little pieces. One more. And go. How are they going? Uh, the underground? Oh, what the heck? Seriously? Is it just that one that's facing the wrong way? Why would they? Okay. Hurry up. Delete that. Oh, my flights are all going to be all screwed up now. Oh. Hey, okay, there they go. Weird. Oh man, there's a lot of things that are getting destroyed. <laughs> At least that's fixed. A bit of a, a bit of a headache there, but it seems to be all working properly now. We gotta get our money back up, my goodness. That was an expensive project. Wow. We are making money pretty darn quick. Let's make sure everything's working properly. This will... Okay. That's the one picking up the luggage for that plane. Alright, so, so that's working good. I wonder if we, since we have baggage, are we getting more money for these flights? Let's see. Let's go all the way to Sunday. Yeah, four thousand dollars. Forty-one hundred dollars. Wow. So that does definitely help. This is a reoccurring one. Might as well throw it down. Six-day reoccurring flight. Always love seeing that. Four day. Maple is 
You know, some pretty darn good flights here. Okay. That one, okay, air. Six day recurring flights, only $3,300 a flight, but still, it's not bad for the recurring aspect. Five day air. Could actually have another medium gate, it seems like. I have enough flights to fill it up for sure. Uh, is there any recurring? Oh, Sky Link. And everyone wants to give us. Everyone wants to give us the larger flights. Well, there's a six-day recurring one. I just fill it up with whatever we got, I guess. Go in. Oh, there's a... Actually, I'll grab that four-day recurring one. Come here. Come on. There we go. All right, nice. So that's all filled up. Look at that. All CLM flights there. Got a few. A big one, too. All right, nice. So our luggage is working pretty darn good. I could spruce this up a bit. Well, I guess I will. With some um, like chairs and whatnot. I wouldn't mind doing like a restaurant or something. What's going on here? Business closed. Oh, I don't have a contract for my little store. Uh, let's just do a fly and go. Can we do. Oh, we can only do shops. Can't do a restaurant yet? What's this? Remote stands. You're almost done. There's just one more thing. Remote stands. To maximize space utilization of an airport CEO can build remote stands. Stands that aren't connected to the terminal. Remote stands operate exactly the same as stands attached to the terminal. They require a few additional steps in order to function as expected. Remote stands can be placed anywhere on the airport's land. But remember that at a distance service vehicle has travel extend time. Hmm. So they want us to do a remote stand. I mean, it's not a bad idea. We could do them here. A couple of small, small stands maybe. Or I just move my whole airport up, which I was thinking of doing. But like the runway a lot, a lot more northwards. And then do a whole new luggage kind of in the middle to uh, deal with these future planes luggages. Uh, it's also an option. For now, maybe I will give the people here waiting for a spot some seating. Two. Do a double here. One, two. I'll put some plants. One, two. One of these. That. Spruce it up a little bit. And a plant. And burn plant. I also do some 
I don't want to start spruce because this area I doubt I'll change. I don't want to spruce it up a bit. Marble floor. Concrete, light concrete. What's a mosaic? Look like. Eh. Wood flooring? Push it up a little bit. Maybe this whole area will be like that. Dark in those bathrooms. Yeah. Back to the entrances. Huh. Now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, am I, I don't even know if I'm <laughs> really happy with the color. If I, s Ooh, I don't. Hmm. I do better with this. I'm wasting money, I know, but this is a couple hundred bucks. Well, you know what? I'm. I don't know. I'm. I might change. <laughs> I might change the floor, and I'm not too sure if I like it or not. Oh. For now, I'll leave it like that. But the main thing is we did get our whole conveyor belt system up and running. We got, got the store going, selling some whatever the heck the hell this stuff is. Food? A little fruit and snacks, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. We've got a lot done this episode as we went over. And uh, if... Make sure you don't miss any episodes because we're definitely not done doing this. We can expand our airport in many ways. And uh, we plan on doing that later on. So, yeah, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.